Members of the civil society, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. I welcome you to the Civil Society Forum of the 15th Conference of ANCTAD, whose theme, From Inequality and Vulnerability to Prosperity for All, is now more urgent than ever. This is only my second week as ANCTAD Secretary General. With time, you will get to know me. But I take this opportunity now to assure you that I come with a great sense of responsibility, deeply aware of the incredible testing times that we are in. We stand at a critical moment in the history of multilateralism, in the history of the United Nations, and in the history of ONTAT itself. The COVID-19 pandemic has proved to be one of the largest challenges of our generation, producing big setbacks in the hard-won progress made in combating poverty and inequality and in advancing sustainable development. This crisis is not over, and many developing regions are seriously facing the prospect of another lost decade, exactly at the time when efforts towards achieving the 2030 Agenda should be coming into full gear. The work ahead is great, as shown by our Trade and Development Report, released last week, where we say that we are witnessing a very divergent global recovery, with advanced countries growing and vaccinating at rates that are multiples of those in the developing world. In a word, if we follow the current trajectory, this is a recovery that will leave many people behind, a recovery that will not comply with our values and mandate here at ANTAT. This will not be prosperity for all. Behind this divergence lurks one of the greatest lessons of this pandemic. Where there is inequality, there is fragility. And when shocks come, gaps widen, and those that were already suffering, suffer the most. In a world where shocks are increasingly common, we must see that the pre-pandemic business as usual was leading us only to the mirage of progress, to development that was temporary and therefore unsustainable. That is why we include now more than ever the word resilience in our SDGs goals, because shocks should not shock us any longer. Dear friends, we need a new path forward, and this is a path in which each and every one of us must feel empowered to help and participate. This includes you in the civil society, one of our key stakeholders, both at large and through our conference. Because if we want new solutions, we need new voices, new perspectives, and new debates. I am aware, as I think you are too, of the special role ANCTAD is called to play in the response to this deeply unequal crisis. ANCTAD is an institution that is uniquely mandated to channel the voices of developing countries around the world, of developing countries not as debtors or as passive recipients of aid, but as proactive members of the multilateral community. The international responses to the COVID-19 crisis are still emerging, as are still being negotiated and agreed to. And all of us are called upon to participate with conviction, integrity, and devotion. Because let me be clear about this, an international response without these voices would be incomplete, insufficient, and unfair. We need to build back a better future that is accompanied by a new narrative on trade, on investment, on debt, on technology, on a development that is truly sustainable, 
that fights inequalities and leaves no one behind. As argued by Secretary General Guterres, we need nothing less than a new social contract, a task for which we need to fully harness the, collect the collective wisdom and experience of civil society in development, to ensure that all voices are heard and resonate in the halls where intergovernmental deliberations are taking place. Dear friends, Civil society is a strong partner of UNCTAD, key to the implementation of our mandate, and an active contributor to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. During the next three days, you will be meeting and discussing important topics such as multilateralism, trade, technology, and systemic reform. I look forward to your deliberations on all these important matters and to your collective contribution to UNCTAD 15 through this forum's declaration. Before I finish, I wish to thank the Caribbean Policy Development Center led by Mr. Richard Jones, the host civil society organization of this forum for successfully preparing this important event. Thank you, Richard. I also wish to thank the members of the International Civil Society Facilitation Committee for their contribution in designing a program that is of great importance, relevance, and precision. Lastly, my gratitude also goes out to Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley of Barbados for supporting this conference and for the excellent collaboration in the preparatory process towards the Civil Society Forum. Rest assured that under the wise presidency of our host country, Barbados, and the Prime Minister leadership, and my personal commitment, your contribution will enrich the legacy of Bridgetown. Dear delegates, as I said at the beginning, this is only my second week as UNCTAD Secretary General, but I, but I can assure you that it is my strong intention to strengthen our relationship with civil society and to empower your contribution to our work. I hope we soon will have the time to meet again in person and to get to know each other better. I therefore ask and call on you, but I also ask and call on UNCTAD to work together on the many challenges the world faces by building on our common expertise our common goals and efforts, and by empowering our unique mandate to help. I thank you all.